Hey what's up guys and today we're going to be discussing how did a NFL prospect turn street dude come from a good family and also how did Big Boogie who also had a marching band career in high school turn into a street dude now I know a lot of people are wondering it does matter if you had a two parent home broken home played college sports don't play college sports grew in a nice home, didn't grow up in a nice home either way we're discussing everything so if you're new make sure to please punch that subscribe button and like and comment on the channel now let SG is an artist signed to Yo Gotti CMG record label he has features with Lil Baby and 42 Doug, Young Jeezy, and many more but I'm not here to give a boo on the guy or anything I'm just here because I'm so confused on why would a standout football star would turn his back on the game that he loved to just to jump into the streets. Now I know it was because of some college tuition trouble and money was a little tight but come on man the streets never choose you and you had a good supporting family. But what do every street rapper say I had to grow up in the streets like really seriously guys come on now in this interview with bootleg Kev Albert Stone gets mad because of the interviewer was asking about his football days instead of his street story album which who cares I guess. Everybody has a fair tale story. I ain't seen no picture of no NFL. Well, combine. I saw you in like the NFL combine looking like workout. Yeah, like a, a workout. Was that just a workout you were doing for a team? I don't know. How you see the picture? You ain't read the article that came with it? I just saw a YouTube video where they were talking about uh, you and like I was just watching some of your uh, high school highlights and your college shit. Like I saw like. What a, YouTube video are you seen? Dude, I don't know, man. It was like a it was like a YouTube video. It showed like you announcing that you're going to Indiana State and. What's a YouTube video called? I don't know. I just literally typed in ESTG football highlights. And I was like, damn, this dude was a beast. You play linebacker, right? What do I got to do with music shit right now? No, I'm just curious because I'm a big football fan. Now this other rapper is straight out of Memphis and I mean the gritty Memphis he even had a back and forth with T.E. Memphis Savage Push Heisty but anyways by this fraud ass rapper proclaims he was offer a certain amount of money to play in a college marching band but I don't know who he thinks he is motherfucking Nick Cannon or something like nigga this ain't drumline what the fuck like nigga. Did you march like you Martin Luther King or something did you have godly skills or something like nigga please with the capping like name one person you know who got paid to play in the marching band in college like seriously nigga really check this shit out y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. Where'd you go to college? I ain't go to college but um, I turned it down. Oh. Yeah, I turned it down just to do this, just to grind from the rap. So you, you uh, had an opportunity to do the drumming yeah, thing? Yeah, scholarship college. and everything. Where at? Um, I think it was like in Jacksonville. Mm. Yeah, a big, a big band in Jacksonville. It was a big college though. And they offered me like 15, some shit like 10 million or something like that. 5 million, something like that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> a scholarship. Okay, but not $5 million. They offered you $5 million to play the drum. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, what for y'all, like... Probably. You know what I'm saying? But I was so younger, like... Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know what it was. Are you sure they offered you $5 million? To play I turned that? it down. It was a scholarship, like, I had to go to school for this decade. This shit out, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe.